So on today's program, we're with Dr. Gavin McGregor Skinner, who's the director of GBAC. Gavin, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Doing great, Jeff. How are you doing? Uh, fantastic. It's beautiful weather and no complaints. Uh, although I wish I wish the pandemic would just go away. I uh, will get there. We'll get there soon. You promise? No. <laughs> uh, a doctor's comment, like always. Yeah. Well, the reason why we're talking today is we're looking at the issue of surface contamination and transmission of the coronavirus. And there seems to be some emerging information that you, Gavin, found in an article and you've been researching, looking at it yourself, in a publication called Emerging Infectious Diseases. Wow, what a, what a publication, Emerging Infectious Diseases. I guess that's a must read these days. Tell us about it. Uh, what, what have you found with that information? Yes, Jeff. One of the roles that the Global Bio-Risk Advisory Council, the GBAC, would like to help everyone within the business, within the organization, with all what we do every day, is help them share new scientific information with them, with everyone, quickly, rapidly, but more importantly, in a way that's understood. This new study has just been published, which really is about surface contamination. And it shows that there may be more surface contamination from the SARS-CoV-2 virus that causes the COVID-19 disease, and that we may be actually underestimating the role of contaminated surfaces that they play in the transmission of the SARS-CoV-2 virus that causes the COVID-19 disease. So what's, what's the difference? What's going on? Well, we know from previous studies that although you know, the SARS-CoV-2 virus transmission can occur from respiratory droplets, direct contact, we know that's clear. But the potential for transmission through contact with surfaces, when you touch your hands to a surface and then you touch your hand, hands to your, to your fingers, to your face, your eyes, your nose, your mouth. So the potential for transmission from contact with surfaces or objects contaminated with SARS-CoV-2 is poorly understood. And this new study that was published this week by the CDC Journal uh, on Emerging Infectious Diseases talks about what, what these results are and how they may put more importance on cleaning and disinfection. So we think about surfaces, we might uh, talk about a top of a table, a desk, a handle, um, you know, appliances maybe, but this goes deeper than that. Is that correct? Soft surfaces? No, well, what it does, it shows that we can detect the virus. The SARS-CoV-2 virus can be detected on various surfaces in any contaminated environment. Now these environments, these buildings, these rooms can be contaminated by patients that have symptoms and, and patients that have maybe very, uh, only a few or very mild symptoms, but we also know that those patients that have, um, don't have obvious symptoms or just before they develop symptoms, even up to two days before symptom onset, people can be spreading what's called high viral loads of this virus, and that can, get, can be contaminating surfaces. Now, we know from previous studies that the SARS-CoV-2 virus remains viable and infectious for not just from hours, but even days on hard surfaces like stainless steel and, and plastic and can, be, and can remain uh, contaminated on those surfaces and potentially remain infectious and cause transmission of the disease and the virus that causes the disease. What about uh, surfaces like upholstered chairs or duvet covers, items that uh, should be cleaned regularly but maybe not? Um, does that play into this as well? Yes. Now, in this particular study that was just published this week, it showed that they took swabs. They, they looked at, they determined the amount of virus in rooms on various services, which included light switches, faucets, bathroom door handles, but more importantly, pillar covers, duvet covers, bed sheets, and even a towel. And what they found was that the patients that had stayed in these rooms in less than 24 hours, there was high viral load shedding. That means lots of virus was coming out of the patients, staying on these surfaces and easily contaminating these surfaces and the environment in this very short period of time. And they were able to detect the, the SARS-CoV-2 virus, again, on the surface of a bed sheet, a duvet cover, a pillow cover, and that highlights the importance of proper handling procedures when changing or laundering these used linens, or also importantly, the proper, the proper need or the appropriate needs for cleaning and disinfection, both hard surfaces as well as soft surfaces or porous surfaces. Yeah. So the need for cleaning has never been greater and for all surfaces, not just the hard surfaces that we often talk about. Well, uh, Gavin, this, this article, this research, 
how do we find it? I, I bet those watching this will want to get a copy. And this, this is where the Global Bio-Risk Advisory Council, the GBAC team wants to help everyone. We, will, we, we look for this data, we, 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 read, we read these journals all the time. We keep copies of these articles on our bedside table at night so we can read them just before we go to bed. We do that stuff, but we want to ensure that we can share it with everyone. So we're going to provide a link, Jeff, to this article. And I just want to, to emphasize that this, this article that we're going to share with you, it shows that the SARS-CoV-2 virus, again, has been reported to remain viable on surfaces of plastic, stainless steel. We know they do that for up to four to seven days and also on soft porous su su uh, surfaces like cloth up to one day. But in summary, this study de demonstrates that this high viral load shedding from both patients pre-symptomatic as well as those with only few, a few or mild symptoms can easily contaminate any environment. And this data in this study also reaffirms the potential role of surface contamination of the SARS-CoV-2 virus that causes the COVID-19 disease, but more importantly, the importance of strict adherence to protocols, standard operating procedures when it comes to cleaning and disinfecting, not just hard surfaces, but also soft porous surfaces such as linens and towels, bed sheets, duvet covers, pillowcases, the whole gamut. Great information, Gavin. And for those watching this, the URL, the website address for that document is in the description of this video. So just look underneath this video and you can copy and paste that into your browser. So, well, enjoy your weekend and we'll catch up on another uh, topic of infectious diseases that uh, everyone has to know about these days. Thanks, Jeff.